can remove the air intake system, disconnect the breather, undo the uh, strap here so that it'll let it out, and uh, set it aside. Unplug the mass airflow meter. Set this out of the side. So we're gonna remove this uh, return hose. We're gonna remove the supercharger belt now. We're putting a half inch drive breaker bar in a tensioner and pushing down and then just sliding the belt off of the pulleys. Okay, we're gonna unplug all the fuel injectors and to do that, you have a tab on both sides that you need to get to. This car actually has the adapters and so on this one, we're just pushing this tab down and separating these and then this will just pull off. But yeah, we'll just go through and take off each one of these fuel injectors. Well, All right, next we're gonna remove this vacuum line on the back of the blower. We're gonna remove this one as well. There we go, this has come off. Looks like there's another one here, but first we're gonna go after this EGR plate. There's a bolt on each side. So we're getting the bolts off the back of the EGR. It's a 10 millimeter. And uh, these ratcheting wrenches with the wobbly head really help out a lot. It's just that bolt right there in the middle of the screen. So the EGR bolt on this side was a 10 millimeter. It's a bigger size on the other. I'm not sure if that was somebody else that changed that or if they're two different sizes. We'll just remove both of these and we'll be able to take this EGR off. So we've already pulled off this line here. There's another big one up here to pull off, just an elbow. And then where these two lines are coming down, there's a, one that pulls off there. So just can disconnect every one of these uh, vacuum hoses that are on the back of the blower. Next we're gonna go after the lower manifold bolts. And it's these right here. So don't confuse them with the one that the blower is attaching to the manifold. We're going after these lower ones. And there's at least one, two, three, four on this side, maybe a fifth. Okay, 10 millimeter. Once again, these are all of the lower intake manifold bolts. And just so you know, this is how long these bolts are, these lower intake manifold bolts. For one of these uh, lower intake manifold bolts, since the Whipple doesn't disconnect on the elbow, you'll need a, a uh, U-joint socket uh, for your 10 millimeter to go on. Otherwise, you won't be able to get to it. Okay, next we're gonna disconnect the throttle body linkage just by disconnecting the line there. And then this one just comes straight off for the cruise control. Up here we have our bracket on the Whipples at least, and we're using a five millimeter Allen to take both of these off for this bracket. This is our IHE2 sensor. I just push down on the clip and slide it off. That's located here on the back of the blower. Next, we're gonna disconnect the fuel line. So right here, there's a clip that if you just push with both sides of your fingers, it'll pop off. And it's just a little harness clip. Then we're gonna be using our disconnect tool. This is our 5 8 inch uh, fuel and disconnect tool. As you can see, these little plastic ones do the trick. So all we're doing is going over here to the fuel line, putting it around the back side of it, so it's on the fuel line. As you push it in, it releases a spring. There we go, fuel line's disconnected. That simple. And this car has a return fuel system on it. It may be a little different, but there's a vacuum hose here that we're gonna go ahead and disconnect. We're gonna take this heat exchanger line that's going into the intercooler. We're gonna go ahead and disconnect this. I'm gonna just uh, grab that clamp and slide it back. Now I'll just remove this heat to exchanger line there. So on this return fuel system, we're just taking off these to uh, Allen's that'll allow us to remove the whole regulator system. 
On the back of the uh, throttle body, there's also this throttle position sensor that we needed to undo. So just pinch it and pull it off. So here's the throttle position sensor. Once again, just push in here and pull it off. All right, so now we can lift the entire blower up and out with the intercooler still attached. I will see the position sensor is still connected.